Let's look at some of the other uh, treatments that we use or instrumentation we use to treat macular degeneration. I want to talk about the OCT or optical coherence tomography. And simply put, the OCT is probably the greatest advancement we've had in treating and monitoring this disease. The OCT is a uh, visual CAT scan of the eye using light, and it returns an image that gives us a cross-section of the retina. It gives us a, a resolution somewhere of about 5 to 10 microns, and it displays the image in a uh, color scale in which black is low reflectivity, which is the vitreous or the um, beyond the choroid, and the red, blue, and green uh, denote different layers of the retina. And so this is what a healthy uh, uh, OCT looks like. You see a nice foveal depression in the center. Let's just look over a couple cases. This was a patient of mine who had, was 68 years old, post a cataract surgery, vision was down to 2080, sent to me to rule out cystoid macular edema. As you can clearly see, there is a posterior vitreous detachment, and there was a small full thickness macular hole. These were very difficult to delineate before, and obviously one requires a surgical intervention and one requires a medical intervention. Let's look at another case. This was a patient who was referred in for an epiretinal membrane. Visual acuity was 2060. And you can clearly see lying on the top section of the retina that there is a line which represents the epiretinal membrane. But the resolution of the OCT was so good that it allowed us to see that there was a very, very small full thickness macular hole present. Once again, completely changing the course of management in this disease. Now let's look at it in macular degeneration. This was a patient of mine, about 77 years old, had central wavy um, vision. Uh, vision was not bad, down to the 2030 level. And you can see that there is a lesion just nasal to the fovea, uh, in between the optic nerve and the macula, but no hemorrhage and just a slight elevation. And vision was pretty good at 2030. You do an angiogram. I did an angiogram, and you see that there is a classic a choroidal neovascular membrane, early hyperfluorescence in the early phases, you see the complete delineation. And in the later phases, you see blurring of the margin, and this is consistent with a classic C and V. The patient was treated with a Vastin, and you see here on the OCT that there is subretinal fluid, uh, uh, and this is shown as the darkness underneath the retina, and you can see it approaches the fovea, but mostly just off the center of the fovea. So we treated the patient with one Avastin injection. Their vision was 20-30 before treatment. Their vision was 20-30 after treatment. And you see after treatment, the OCT shows a, a very nice retinal contour. There's a nice foveal depression, and there's no sign of subretinal fluid. But in this situation, visual acuity is not how we can guide treatment. And I'll give you an example. This patient started off at 20-30. You see the subretinal fluid. One month post-op, you see that there's no fluid, and then two months post-op, you see the accumulation of subretinal fluid again underneath the fovea. All the time, the visual acuity is 20-30. So OCT really has changed the way we manage these patients. They come in every single month, and they get an OCT uh, regardless of whether they're symptomatic or not, regardless of whether they uh, have a change in their vision, because it picks up fluid better than we could ever see.